Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to update item status. Item status is, I'm talking about this status of this walk queue items. So for each items, we can update the status. And a status could be like, if you have completed this item successfully, so you can mark as a completed. If this item not completed successfully, it means this has any exception system exception so you can mark as a system exception if this item completed with the business exception so you can update the status as a business exception right and in the exception region you will have the exception region this is not only about the update final status of the item you can consider this as a progress of your step progress of the process it means let's say we are going one by one here and here we have used get item by id it means we have got the items so one status completed it means we can update like item picked by boat here we have launched item so second status can be uh, that centrix application launched next once login successful so you can update a status as a login successful here if there is any exception so it will come here and you can update as a exception like business exception if there is no business exception so it will go next consider as a completed like that once we complete the item like once we mark item as a uh, completed or exception after that will not able to update the status only status can be updated before marking this completed or exception it means only that update status will work if that specific item is locked once that item is released from the lock or like the item is unlocked that update status will not work now this is the time to remove these things instead of using multiple action like get pending items and then loop loop start loop end and this get item id just use only few things like get next item and check if we have item like that right so now we can remove this is not required now and remove this pending items remove this we'll keep this and now we are going to use one action double click select work queue and now we are going to use that get next item that normally we use in our process that is recommended by blue prism that we use get next item to process each item from work queue now our queue name is age we are going to take it from here this is available on this page and this can be accessible because we have this unchecked hide from other page so visibility is unchecked now now go to output we have item id so i'm going to use the same item id because we already have this item id uh, data item created in the collection we can create as a uh, queue collection like this get next item delete others and after getting next item we need to take one decision so that we can see we have data available in item id or not so double click on this decision and we'll check got item and here we'll see item id if not equal to blank it means we have the data in this item id if yes so we'll go to the next step if no so stop that of the board so we'll link with this and so we'll take here and uh, just link with this anchor stage and go to and I'll link this now now it is time to uh, remove all these things from here and move this to one page so cut this create one page here and that is for process record so create add a new page and create a reference and this is for process 
records right finish go to this and paste here link this so we are launching here now cut this also because this is a part of this so if quality less than 10 if yes let me switch this switch if less than 10 then business exception if no then end now double click here so we are just launching here here we are again we are just going to log in let me put the correct password and here we need uh, the quantity available in our uh, queue so as we have moved from here to there so we need this specific value this one that uh, so either there are two way you can directly take it uh, using this start like input parameter so it will take parameter from here it will pass to this or you can directly access the value from here right so you can copy this q collection because we are go going to get value here copy this and you can make it visible go to process record double click on that and replace this with the queue collection here and click ok so now this queue collection is accessible on this page also and here just link this if got item yes so process record let me decrease the size of this so if mark completed so we need to link with this now now i'm going to show you how to update a status so we'll go to process record and i want to update the status after launching i want to update a status that application launched so we'll take one action stage double click on that click on this select work queue and select this update status and we'll select that item id so item id again we need to take it from uh, this work queue we view and it seems this is not visible so we'll uh, double click on that make it accessible to all this across the page now double click go to work queue we view select item id and update the status that is application launched update status launched so this is the one st status that we are updating after launching the application now after launching this application we are going to log in and once login successful we are going to update the status as a let me copy this and now this is for we are going to update the status as a login successful so we'll put here we'll just change the status login success and this is for login click ok same item id will be used because we are going to work on only one item id now come back to the work queue view and here so once process record completed so here we'll put one more here and this is to update a status as a completed double click update a status completed so finally once the process record records completed successfully so we'll update our item status as a completed here once there is no error it will come here update the status completed and then it will mark item as a completed so we cannot put this a status after this one after mark completed our item will be released it will not be in the logged status logged state so we'll not able to update that so only we can update before mark completed or like before mark exception now if there is any exception so we need to update here also let me just remove this remove this and take one more copy and paste 
we will update here ok and this is for let me put here and this one is for update exception and here instead of writing completed we will take this exception type so exception type will be updated here automatically if that is business exception so the status will be business exception if this is system exception so status will be system exception right now click ok and if completed successfully so status will be completed now link here now link this here this link here so for both the exception like system or business exception will take only one updated status and only one mark exception because we are using one variable this data item and automatically that will be applied now we are ready to run that one so let me right click set next stage get next item so we have the item and we have this queue collection we are going to this now this 10 is not less than 10 is equals to and we are checking only 10 is less than right so let me step over and it will pass here so let me go one by one so that i can show you the status step into launch that sorry let me step click on a step out so that it can launch that application now application is launched now i'm going to show you the status of that specific item so this item is picked up a status is blank now just let me pass click on step over now we have just completed this update status launch and we can see now the status is application launched so we can update the progress of that specific item let's say your process divided into four part the major four parts and you want to update each status like first process completed second process completed this is why because if next time let's say you have an error and your boat is stopped in between so next time whenever you will start process so you can fetch that you can get the status like what is the current status and only your process will work next to that let's say a process completed so you will get the status and it will say oh, a status is equal to a completed so your process will start from second step not from a because a is already completed if your status is b completed it means your process for this item your process will start from c complete it, it means b completed so it will start from c and d this is the reason that we use as a updated status to update each progress of the item now login into this one so login successful now we are going to update the login status and now that will update that we have successfully logged in so every time you can refresh the just queue these items and you can see the status so what is happening right instead of looking into the log you can see the status so now let me go to next this is correct now we are going to update as a status completed and mark completed so we have marked completed and you will see here that now the status is completed and we have also marked our item as completed now let's say we are going to throw an error and I, uh, this application closed sorry so we i just linked this with the end i need to uh, just again move this to the uh, get next item so that we can process next next item so I missed to do, do that. So if we have completed after this uh, uh, close, so what we need to do, we need to, so now what will happen, it will get next item, check we have an item or not. If we have an item available, so it will process record, it will close, it will go and tick next item. If we have data, it will process here. If no, it will go to end, right? So we can now right click set next stage. Now I'm going to show you for the system exception. We have an item. Now let me 
make some changes to the password and let me step over so it will throw an error so it means it will mark this item as an exception and here you will see in the this one you can see application launched but there is an error also because application launched but login not successful so we are going to exception resume system exception update the exception now we just updated the exception and we are going to marking we are going to mark exception and close the application now you'll see here again right click refresh view and you'll see here this is system exception and region is syntax login not successful same way we can so now you will see here it will go get next item again and see here if we have okay so we have less than 10 so now it is going to throw one business exception so let me first fix this one now run this so application launched update status application launch now it is going to log in and meanwhile we can see here the status of the specific item so this is application launched and once we'll update this and you see here the status is now login successful right and now it is going to throw one exception that is business exception and it is coming to the recover part and now we just updated our exception as a business exception so you will see here now this item is updated as a business exception and this item was updated as a system exception and this item was completed and now run this close this and you see here now so there are two exception but but this exception is business exception this one is system exception right so by this way we can update the q item status we can update the item progress and we can complete that right so i hope this video is helpful for you if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn ui path rpa then you can visit my YouTube channel youtube.com slash UiPath RPA. If you want to learn Blue Prism from Udemy, so I have created one course for Blue Prism RPA complete course on Udemy. So you can go there and you can purchase that course and you can get the certificate from there. I will enter the, the referral code and the link in the video description you can go through that. I hope you like that one. Thank you so much for watching this video.